Hello and welcome to this review of Detox My Mac. Detox My Mac is an application that will get your Mac running a little bit faster by speeding it up. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go ahead and start downloading the application so that we can see how it runs. Alright, and after you run the DMG file, you should be able to just drag and drop the icon into your applications folder. And that'll go ahead and copy the app into your computer. Okay, so I'm in my applications panel here, and now I can actually go ahead and click on Detox My Mac, which is now in my apps list, and we're going to be able to actually open the application. Now, when you open the software for the first time, it is going to ask you for a license key. You can buy a license if you'd like, uh, or if not, you can just click on Remind Me Later. For the duration of this review, I will be using the paid version of Detox My Mac, so this will be the full pro version. Okay, so this is the main interface of Detox My Mac. I have now activated the software and by putting in my registration code. So this is again the full pro version of Detox My Mac. So opening up the program, this is the first time that I've actually used it. Uh, you'll notice on the left hand side that there are all the different options you can select for what you want to detox. Now detox is basically just uh, a word to denote that it's going to delete or remove the files that don't need to be there within these different sections. So if you want to clear out your downloads folder of things that don't need to be there then you can select the detox downloads option. Uh, if you want to get rid of your trash, uh, get all the files out of your trash bin, then you can select that. So I think I'm going to select detox trashes, uh, detox the leftovers, and we'll also do, let's see, detox history. So we'll just select some options here, some basic options. And then once you've selected everything that you want cleaned up, you can go ahead and click on the start scan button, which is right at the very top right hand corner. And it's going to go ahead and start scanning your Mac for these items and populate a list. So we'll go ahead and let it scan, get through all of that, and then we will be back here in just a moment. Okay, so I've gone ahead and let it run its course. I was able to get it to 100% on the history and trashes. Uh, now the detox leftovers would take a little bit longer, so I went ahead and quit the scan a bit early. Uh, but you'll see now that the program has detected all of these files that can be cleaned up. So these are all things that uh, are either taking up space on your Mac machine that do not need to be there, or things that uh, just should be detoxed in general. So what you can simply do is after all the files have been populated, you can click on detox and it's going to give you the option to start the detox. And once you do that, it'll go ahead and take care of everything for you. I'll go ahead and click on authenticate. And it may ask you for your password. So I've gone ahead and put my password in there. Alright, so I went ahead and clicked on Start Detox, and you can see that now 16.87 gigs of files were removed from my computer. Now, majority of that was in my trash bin that did not need to be in my trash bin. It's just empty files that I previously deleted. And so this program has actually cleared 16 gigs of space off of my machine, which is actually a significant amount. I don't have that much space on here right now. So being that it just gave me an extra 16 gigs of space is actually a pretty big improvement. So that is definitely a big advantage of this program. Uh, you'll notice that there are other options. If you go up to the top, you can scan from the actions menu at the top. And uh, just in general on the machine, I mean, it's a very simple program, uh, not too many complicated features. Everything that you really need in order to use the software is on this left panel here. And like I said, you can uh, go in here and select just what you need. You don't have to scan everything. Just select what you want to scan, start the process, and you'll be all set. So overall, I think this is a, a very useful program, so I encourage you to check that out. And that's going to be it for this review today. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.